Hey, it's Isaac Lewis, one of the co-founders of Anchor. Just want to give you a quick rundown of the Anchor Pro so that you know the ins and outs and how to share with other people. So the Anchor Pro here is a compact, portable cable machine. Allows you to convert your squat rack, any pole, beam, fixture into a cable machine. So I'm going to walk through the product here, explain some of the mounts and how everything works and comes together and how it's valuable for a wide range of customers. So here we've got the full product loaded. This is what comes on a standard kit. So you get your base unit, you get a handle attachment, and you get the universal strap mount as well with six resistance plates. So you can see we've got fives on the left, L denoting that left side, a couple tens, two tens on the right and a five. So this is your standard package. And the way you adjust the resistance is simply by adding these resistance plates on and off. So they all have these rotating grooves here. You line it up side specific and you slide it in, lock it in, and that's what adds the resistance to the mechanism. So I can just take off all the weight here and I'll just show you one by one how the product works from the ground up. Base resistance, five pounds. So with no resistance plates on it, you're gonna get about five pounds of resistance and you can pull it out and this is where most people are gonna do accessory work, internal, external rotation. And the important things to note is that there's always tension on the cable. So I'm here, there's tension, there's tension all the way out and you get eight feet of cable if I bring it all the way across. And the nice part about it is that it's going to feel much more like a pneumatic system because you can move it at speed, you can do slow and controlled movements. There's always gonna be tension, it's never gonna slack out. So you can do concentric, eccentric, you can do isometric power presses as well. And that's what you're gonna have on the base. And then the way you add the resistance plates is simply once again, lining up, I got my 10R, gonna line it up on this side and you just rotate it in. And now that's gonna add 10 pounds on the mechanism there. And you don't have to load it symmetrically. As you can see there, there's 10 on the right side, nothing on the left. And you can just load that up incrementally. You can you mean add a couple at a time, spin them on there, load them up on either side once again, and that's what's going to increase the load on your mechanism. The last thing I want to show you here too is the max load on the system. I showed you the minimum without the resistance plates being five pounds. The max is actually 65 pounds. So I can add these resistance plates up here. This is what we have as the plate dock which I'll show you later. That's where I can grab that extra 10, slide it on at the end, and that'll load me up with 30 on this side, I'll five in the base, and then I just need to swap out this side here. I'll take that five, put it up there. Instead of putting it on the ground like I did earlier, that's why we made the plate dock, slide that 10 on, and now I've got 30, 30, five in the base. That's what's gonna bring you to that 65 pounds. So that's gonna give you a pretty good load for the size of the product. And like I said, you can move it at speed. You can do slow controlled motion. It's gonna have a good load on that for a single product. So if you are doing heavier lifts, two arm exercises, we recommend the dual setup. So you would get two of them, put them on the other column. If they're wall mounted, space them out about four feet apart. And that'll allow you to get a really good amount of load for such a, a small product to be able to, to do those higher weight type exercises. So now, after wrapping up some of the product, that's really it. You know, it's meant to be very simple, easy to adjust on and off, still give you that cable experience, and the way the mount works. So as you see there, all I did was take this steel pin right out of the back of the trainer. It's got this matching interface. All of our mechanisms have this identical interface. Once again, to line it up, slide it on, place the pin, drop it, you know, it's going to be in there. So I can just take that out and show you how this mount works. So this mount here, this is the strap mount. This strap mount is the most universal one. It comes with every single unit that we sell. Aluminum plate with an industrial Velcro strap and a steel safety lanyard, just an extra fail safe mechanism. So the way that works here, you just undo the Velcro. If you want to adjust the height, you can just slide that up and down and then tighten it up wherever you need. And then to, to fully take it off, you can just unclip the carabiner, seal safety pin, 
finish undoing the Velcro, and you can take it right off your rack. And now to just show you quick, placing that on, just line up that red loop right through, tighten it up at whatever height you want, cinch it tight, and then safety lanyard, just an extra fail safe, keep that on secure. We do have custom lengths on the strapping. This is just a standard strap size, fits on really any rack, two by two to four by four on this strap. But if a customer does need different strapping, they can just request that from us and we're able to fabricate that pretty easily. So next thing, gonna run you through another piece of mounting. This is our rack mount right here. Just got it mounted down here for some space. The way it works is it's a much highly specialized mount. It's gonna be a full metal piece with special adjusting push knob that's gonna allow you to place the knob on top to tighten without having to thread the whole rod. The knob allows you to tighten and loosen really quickly. So if I just place that right through, grab the knob in the back, slide that on, one twist, and that's gonna be tight now. So that's all you have to do with that and you can adjust the height on that, as I showed, space that up there, slide it around. It's meant to be very strong, more tailored mount. People are looking for something a little more customized, highly refined for squat racks with those peg holes. And once again, to place the product on there, it's the same mount interface. Just slide that right up, down, and you're all set. And you can adjust it as well with the trainer on there. Loosen it, slide it out. You need to move it to a different height like that. And if you have different hole spacing on the bottom here, little thumb screw, this guy can come out and it can enter in either one, two, three inch different spacing there, depending on the style of the rack. So next to go back up here with the plate dock, the plate dock here has that same Velcro mechanism. It's a fully machined piece, same type of mechanism here as the side of the product, just allowing you to put on the plates and it just goes right around the rack. You can either put it on the back, you can place it on the front, you can flip it whatever way you want, really depending on whatever works best for the customer. We do make this same mount as well in a wall mounted form. So there you can just kind of put it at whatever height you want and then you have an easy storage solution. Keep track of those resistance plates making it a lot easier on that facility or college customer to keep track of everything. So the next thing I'll go to is a different mount we have. Same interface over here. We got a product set up, looks the exact same. That's our sliding track mount. So the sliding track mount has that same interface as I mentioned right here, fully machined piece. This is a aluminum extrusion rail, drops straight into a stud, you just loosen it. Slide that up and down. Place the product on there. Slide that up and down. Really depending on whatever area you want to train at. As you can see here, just to show you, you know, it's a six foot length on the rail. You can get a wall mounted plate dock as well. Just easy storage solution. So if I'm going to take off that plate, I can just line it up on here and you're ready to go. So looking closely here at the product back again, you're gonna take a look, I wanna show you this roller system. So that's what's gonna make that cable really smooth. So it's a fair lead roller system. We got two horizontal, and then there's actually two vertical ones in the back as well to allow you to cut at an angle, uh, laterally, left and right. And this works upward, downward, and that's really gonna to contribute to the smoothness, longevity, durability of the cable. This front face, point out, it's fully machined metal, laser etched to really just protect the front of the device. Kind of looks like a winch system. And then these plates, once again, they're all pad printed on there for side specificity. And that's gonna be the gist of the Anchor products themselves. Getting into some of the details, letting you know exactly how they work, how it comes together. 